One thing I haven't talked about on Death by Bungie is the R500 recall. Raven recalling the R500, the first real crossbow to be advertised and sold to the world at 500 feet per second. I was real impressed with the idea of that crossbow when it first came out. I'm sorry to hear about the problems Raven has had. Today I shot crossbows in the backyard with a Raven owner, friend of Bungie, Jim from Backyard Broadheads. And it got me to thinking, man, that R500, is that the end of Raven, right? Is this a sign of the end of times for Raven? Jim certainly wouldn't think so. He is a shooter of an R29 from Raven. That's a fantastic crossbow. But when a company suffers a setback of that magnitude, it's got to make you stop and think, man, is this company going to be around for much longer? To make matters worse, when you look at the number of crossbows, more than 13,000 Raven crossbows were recalled by the Consumer Products Safety Commission. Those R500 models have been recalled due to a potential issue of the device's firing when nearly, but not fully, cocked. 13,000 crossbows, that is a lot of crossbows, and that's really got to set them back, right? But then I got to thinking about it. When you look at it, that's 13,000 crossbows that they sold. The prices range from $2,550 to $4,000. $25. So I did some math, right? I added this stuff up. When you add it up, sort of the average price between the $2,550 and the $4,025 is like $3,287 and change. So $3,287 per crossbow on average. I know this isn't exact. But when you multiply that by 13,000 crossbows, that is $42,000,000. 737,500 dollars. Now I'm sure the recall hurts a little bit, but I'm pretty sure Raven's doing okay. They sold 42 million dollars worth of crossbows here, right? That's a lot of money. And people send the crossbows back, they're not refunding the money, they're fixing the part, sending it back. There's probably enough room in the budget to get that done, I'm betting. Another thing I want to point out too about a recall because of the crossbow firing right unintentionally firing that is by far the number one reason that crossbows in general are recalled right excalibur had the mega matrix 405 that is a crossbow that was recalled because it fired unintentionally so that's a crossbow that you know if you got one of those you want to be in contact with the company get whatever fixes are necessary but my point is this kind of a recall is not unheard of in the crossbow business unfortunately. Really, when it comes right down to it, I don't think Raven's in any kind of trouble here. Once they get past this, they're going to be just fine. And I say this based not only on friend of Bungie, Jim, showing up today with his R2090, loves that crossbow, been shooting it for years, he's got a real commitment to the Raven brand. But I can tell you here at Death by Bungie, the number one requested crossbow, the one that I get time and time again, people telling me that I should buy, is a Raven R10. Not really interested in that crossbow, but I can tell you that I get that request time and time again. So it is a solid performer, and it's been around a long time. The other reason I think Raven is pretty solid here is because they have several models that are all in a 400 feet per second category or a little bit faster. They're kind of the, the first ones to really have an entire catalog of crossbows at the 400 feet per second mark. And the nice thing about Raven is they get those speeds with 400 grain arrows, not some dinky little 350 or 370 or 390 that we hear about. And when we talk about those speeds, it's the real speeds. Report after report after report of Raven is that they are not in any way misleading you about the speeds of their crossbows, not just the 400 grain arrow, a realistic arrow, but their crossbows shoot at least as fast as advertised. And that's a big deal. To me, that's a big deal, especially the more and more I look at different brands and models and find out they don't really quite perform as advertised. Hats off to Raven for that. That's another reason why I really believe Raven's not going anywhere. Now, even though the R500 was kind of a dud or whatever, you know, maybe that didn't work out as well, they can fix it. They can still get it in your hands and you can still safely shoot that crossbow when repaired. You're going to be shooting 500 feet per second or better. If you have one, just get it fixed. You'll be all good. But to me, that kind of speaks to another positive. Another thing I like about Raven. Raven innovators, right? 
They pushed the envelope on speed. They aren't afraid to take a risk now and then, hitting that 500 feet per second mark, but also they are willing to put out the R18, which is a funny looking little thing, you know, it looks like a bug or something like that. But it's a tiny little crossbow. They're not afraid to take risks. And I think that's important because we do need companies to occasionally take a calculated risk and move crossbow hunting forward. Because Raven had worked so many years, and I was following this in podcasts and was kind of aware of it several years in advance, that they had a prototype that shot 500 feet per second. So I knew this was coming, and I was very excited when it came out, that R500. And it's nice to see them not afraid to release that and push the envelope a little bit, push other manufacturers so other manufacturers don't get lazy. They don't get comfortable making their nice little 325 feet per second crossbows or whatever, and instead try to move it forward. Over the years, they keep making those 400 feet per second models, but then they also reach out a little bit and improve those models, the R29X, for example. Friend of Bungie Jim has the R29, great crossbow shooting in the 400 to 420 feet per second range. Then they come out with the R29X, 450 feet per second. Oh, I, I bought one. 